Energy efficiency is one of the most important elements that were debated during the planning of this system. The result of this is mainly that our production is very efficient, in addition to the very high quality of our glass. This special efficiency actually consists of two parts. First, the primary energy savings due to the design, selection of material, and corresponding operation. And secondly, due to the use of secondary energy, especially from the waste gas from the melting tank, where around 70,000 cubic meters of exhaust flows at a temperature of 1,500 degrees. This is an enormous amount of energy which cannot be released unused into the environment. And so we've used the opportunity to utilize this thermal energy in the secondary area with the aid of a Siemens exhaust turbine, a steam turbine in two stages, to produce steam and then electrical energy, which is naturally integrated into the entire energy management system in our own plant and into the system's entire operating system. This is one of the best looking systems that has ever been built. It's bright, airy and unobstructed. We've created super work conditions for the personnel here. And we're all very satisfied that the system is running at its limits with very good results, high efficiency, high energy efficiency, and that it consumes approximately 40% less energy than comparable systems around the world. After all, this is not the first system that I've planned and built together with Siemens. And based on this experience, we've designed the process control system to be somewhat bigger and somewhat broader, which means, as I've already said, that the process control system is used even for facility management, the control of the air conditioning systems and the control of the ventilation and venting systems. And we have additional reserves, which we will use in the future.